Shalom. That means peace in Hebrew. This video has been inspired by the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And it just came across my recommendations. And this is the second video I've seen today. And the daughters of Zion shall become princesses again. And that's what I want to title this video because this young lady here, she's 19 years old. She's from Philly, but she's down in Houston, if I'm not mistaken, to make money. Her father was in, not, her father was in and out of jail. Her mother, um, her mother was a single parent. This young lady says she has four siblings. One of her oldest sisters is in the Navy, and a gentleman, the man that's recording her, actually was in the Navy as well. I'm going to leave the link of this video in the um, description box. But just the conversation he's having with her, and it's like, our women are just so far gone. I, listen, I don't want nothing to do with any modern woman today, none whatsoever. But this just kind of touched me in a different way because it goes to show you the curses that we're under. Curses are so heavy. And you can just hear and see the innocence in her, but she has no idea that she's already been like destroyed, like mentally and and um emotionally. She's just unstable. And 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 her parabonic is gone. She'll never be able to get with a man and want to be with him for the remainder of her life, you know, like the Lord said in Romans the seventh chapter. Um, it said that a woman's supposed to be with her husband all the days of her life. The first man she's with, you know, and how many women, uh, uh, you know, have you met and they're a virgin, you know, you're her first, right? I've been blessed to have three when I was younger, but that's, that's besides the point, you know, but anyways, I want to give all the honor, glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodash, the bonus of my elders at Great Millstone, talking this truth through the spirit, single honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth, Shalom. And side note, that means I have three wives out there that belong to me, because I had three virgins. But anyhow, I'm going to play only about a minute or so of this clip, and I'm going to get into the scriptures. Pardon me, I want this to be too loud with an echo. All right, so, and your name is what? My name is Jada. Jada. And how old are you? I'm 19. 19? Yeah, I'm from Philly. Okay, good, Philly in the house. So what, what city is? So Philadelphia is, it's, it's like, what state is that? It's Philadelphia, Okay, and how long you been out here for? Um, I've been out here for like two years. You like Houston? So what made you come to Houston? Um, so I know it's money out in Philly too. What, what? So what made you choose Houston out of all places? So she pretty much let him know that she's out there for money. So she, if you like, I said I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. She's 19, didn't graduate. She don't have a great um relationship with her mother or her father and she said she's later on in the video you know if you listen if you watch it she's like oh me and my mama we ain't cool like that yada 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 she got a tattoo of her, of her best friend on her face it's not even funny but it's just crazy and you got a tattoo of a dude across her neck he was like oh that's your boyfriend oh nah i ain't got no boyfriend he like you never had a boyfriend she said no so she's just been out here in the streets, man, but this is the condition of our women. And like Elder Pastor Hart said, I'd never forget it. If you want to know the state or the condition of a nation, look at their women. Well, look at our women. You know? And there's no absolutes in the universe until we rule the kingdom. You know? So I can't say all women, but man, this is the vast majority of women. Tattoos, long weed with beads, provocative clothing. This is not modest. Freaking cobra fang, long fingernails. It's, it's just crazy, man. 
you know? So this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. Now this is now she don't have any kids, but just the part about how our women were prior to these curses. Deuteronomy 28, 56, the tender and delicate woman among you. Tender and delicate. Tender is like being very soft, timid, kind of weak. And women don't women. That's why women say, "Oh, I'm a strong woman." That's what she think as a strong woman. A woman should want a strong man to protect her. Yeah, and delicate, like fine china. You know, something that's dainty, royal. Something that's tantalizing. You can see it, but can't touch it. You know what I mean? It's precious. Like it's like a Bugatti. You know. They have those in showcase rooms completely different from where a Toyota Corolla would be at, right? That's how women were. Deuteronomy 28, 56, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the soul of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Let that sink in. It was at one point I heard women were just so tender and delicate. They wouldn't even pair a venture to let their feet touch the ground. Man, look at look on YouTube now. I have women out there with all these taste of rainbow weaves in their hair, and they run around barefoot, fighting. Hell, got the kids out there with the saggy diaper, only one strap of the, of the, of the diaper, <laughs> hanging on to the baby, man. Baby out there with no shoes on. Stepping on empty wee wee bags and and busted guts from guards and junk. It's just people just you know at a low state right now. Cause we're in the curses. Let me continue. <clears throat> the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have ventured to set the soul of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Not her, though, because she don't have any kids. But this is our woman today. Baby mamas, right? Baby mama drama, they say. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet and toward her children, which she shall bear. And I, I've, I've heard it. Plenty of times I heard Judah had women say, you just like your daddy, not only to the son, but also to the daughter. But their father was like locked up or like, you know, something he, he never been around. It's the same trait. So they so when they see that child, they have such a, 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 a um, they despise the child so much in such a way that when they see the child, all they can all they can remember was that man. Now, let it be a man that a woman wanted to spend the rest of her life with or a woman. Like I'm, I'm being a devil advocate that wanted to be with this man. He didn't want nothing to do with her. It could be very um, traumatizing, right? But it's really these curses, man. The women really leave the majority of the time. 50% of marriages end in divorce, and 70 to 80% of them are initiated by the women. And if she's college educated, 90%. But they say men leaving, and men ain't shit. Like, okay. Anyways, another story. So, so uh, I'm, I'm going to finish this verse, you know, out of respect. And toward, verse 57, Deuteronomy 20, 57, forgive me. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet and toward her children, which she shall bear, she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness, wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. Who is thy enemy? Esau and Eve. I'm speaking to the Israelite man. Every great man, that King David, King Solomon, Samson, what would the downfall? Women. Right? Even in history, like 30 some percent of wars were initiated by women. No, I'm sorry, that no, the percentage is higher. What what I mean by that? Woman's mouth. Watch the movie Troy. What was the what was the whole purpose of that of, of the of the movie? He took the other man's woman. <laughs> and she went willfully. It's, it's just crazy. But any anyhow. But um, and then the so-called white man created feminism. That's why the Lord said, I shall create a new thing in the earth. A woman shall surpass a man, meaning that a woman can dictate her own life without a father. And look at the outcome. Look at the outcome. Because prior to feminism, prior to the Great Society Act, prior to child, child support and, and, and Section 8 and SNAPs and, and benefits and all of that, 
the women had to depend on the men, but during that time, the men would be with their woman majority of the time. Like 80% of marriages for so-called black people, we was we stayed together. Why? Because we had a common enemy. Uh-huh. Now that the woman say, oh, well, she, we both need this man, but I don't need you anymore. So the woman left us. So that, that dude around me, 28, 50, um, what, 56 or 57? That that that's evident today, right now, you know. But nonetheless, though, it all boils back down to the curses because this woman, this listen, at the end of the day, I I can never forget what you've done to our to our women in slavery. Though they're against us right now, yeah, yeah. But I can never forget what you've done to our women because. Hell, they didn't have to be my wife. They didn't have to be my wife. That could have been somebody else's sister, somebody else's niece, mother, grandmother. And you tortured our women as well, and you raped them at will. And now look at the condition of our people as a whole due to the curses as well. But Esau, you are the catalyst. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good tidings, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, meaning that you ain't putting all the business out there, yeah? Chaste, in other words, you're not promiscuous. Keepers at home, you're not a busybody. You ain't in the club. You ain't dropping the baby off at grandma's house and you running off to have hot girl summers. Nope. Good, obedient to their own husbands. Obedient to their own husbands. I saw a stat that said on, 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 at this rate in 2030, which we're not going to be here this long, Lord willing. 2030, like 50% of women will be um, single. Childless and single. Women over 30 right now are, are 50% of them are childless and single. Why? Because the woman's saying, this is what I want from a man. Let alone, the man could be 90% of what she wants. She still will leave him. The survey says that. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Yeah? Now, I don't want to make this too long, but I have to make these points. Pay attention to this. First Timothy chapter five, verse six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. This young girl is only 19 years old, y'all. She's like almost done for. Can't come back. Really? 19, never graduate. Now, I ain't, I'm not saying she can't go back to school or whatever, you know, try and make herself a law abiding citizen and go on a straight and narrow, but it'll be very hard for her to cope with the man, to cohabit, habitat with a man. Because she's even if even though she may give, somebody can stop drinking and smoking. That demon's going to always be in the back of your mind like, hey, man, go ahead and take a smoke. I haven't smoked since 2013. But sometimes that demon just pop up. I'm like, you're not worth, you're not worth the lake of fire. You're not worth a, a, a missile. Nah, I'm good. You know, I fear the Lord, you know. So even though she could be go back to being, quote unquote, a woman, that 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 three or four spirit gonna always be in her. That street spirit gonna always be in her. You know, she belong to the streets, like they say, you know, and I'm just being serious. I'm not even trying to say this is being funny because this is sad. But, you know, we're going to be right. Our, our, our daughter's going to be back to being princesses. I'm going to read it. First Timothy chapter five. Verse. 14, I will therefore that the younger women marry, sex and, you know, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. And that goes right back to the Deuteronomy 28, 57, when it says that um, the enemy will besiege us and the enemy went to Eve. Because who's the first teacher? Who's the first teacher in the village? The mother, Right. Which received traits from her mother, which was taught by her father and guided by her father, so forth and so forth and so forth. You know, but remember the tender and delicate woman among you that would not peradventure her feet to touch the ground. I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, I'm sorry, an example. 
Esther. I, I recommend you read the book of Esther. You got to remember the Lord dealing with the men always been, but there have been times when the Lord will prop up a woman for an occasion. Like during this time, we, I think we was under the siege of Elam, the Sushan palace, um, the East Indians, they had us in captivity and Esther pretty much saved Israel because she pretty much became the wife of the king, if I'm not mistaken. All right. And Mordecai was her uncle, if I'm not mistaken. I got to read it again. But anyhow, hearken unto this. This is this is how this is how we're kings on earth. Right. We're princes of God, the men of Israel. So just imagine how the woman would prep herself for a king. Listen to this. This is that tender and delicate woman. This is Esther. Chapter 2, verse 10. Esther had not shoot her people nor her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not shoot it. And Mordecai walked every day before the court of the women's house, the court of the women's house, to know how Esther did and what should become of her. Now, when her maid's turn was come to go in to King Ahasuerus, after that, she had been 12 months, listen here, 12 months, y'all, of prepping to see the king. According to the manner of the women, for so were the days of their purifications accomplished, to wit, six months with oil of myrrh and six months with sweet odors and with other things for the purifying of the women. I'm speaking to the men right now. Can you imagine that? Your wife to your queen to be. We don't have queens. We don't have princesses. All right. She's for for six months. She's being prepped and dipped in oil, and then sweet hors d'oeuvres. Can you imagine that? Her skin so soft, so subtle, so sweet. Ain't no man touched her. That's how our women are supposed to be, and that's what they're gonna go back to. Having women pamper them. You, hey, think about this. You know how you know how Eve would go to the nail salon and have Moab them or you know what I'm saying, Ammon doing their nails and they and you know what all of that. All heathen women gonna be do prep they're gonna be prepping our women in the kingdom. Ain't no weave, ain't be, ain't ain't gonna be no weave in the kingdom. You getting your hair back. You ain't gonna have no gut. You go. You gonna be. You gonna be tight. You gonna be popping out babies like over red and box of popcorn. But you gonna still be tight. You gonna be modest. You are gonna be chaste. You are gonna be feminine. You are gonna be submissive, obedient, loving, caring, fearing, fighting for the men of the Lord. But you gonna be fighting. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. Hey. Ain't no damn Wakanda forever over here. It's your how about Shimi? I was Allah forever. Yeah. But anyhow, with that being said, I pray you was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quam Allah. Mofla Baba. Shalom. At the end of the day, I ain't dealing with no Israelite woman. Seriously. I don't want to. The Lord sent me, you know, whatever. But at the, man, our women are going to be on top in the kingdom. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. Well, to you few sisters who do believe, yeah, how about Shimao Shai, about Shira Kakadash, Baraka Thumb, Aquathium, Shalom.